Hi, it's Karen, and I hate to have to apologize at the beginning of one of my videos, but it seems that screen recording on my Mac did not capture the menu items for the programmer that are all the way at the top of the screen. So be assured that when I click on something a little bit off the screen and you see a menu open, I am using the menu items that are a part of your programmer. Open your programmer, take a look at those across the top of the screen, and I'm sure everything will be perfectly clear for you as I move through the instructions here. Again, I apologize for any confusion. Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. We're going to play with the Mac a little bit today and learn how to do import. And I was going to do this as a written document, but as I took screenshots, I realized I was making so many decisions, it would be better if I explained it to you. So sit back and relax, and I'll teach you a little bit about import for the RT Systems programmers. I'm going to work in the FTM 500 today. Just my choice. I could have picked any of them. This process will work the same in any of the RT Systems programmers. Always import into a new file. I promise you, it will save so much heartache. Yes, you're supposed to be able to import to channel 447. First time you don't type that. First time you overwrite all that work you've been doing. You are not going to be happy. So, import into a new file. If you don't like what you get, throw it out and do it again. If you want to then move it to a file that you're building, just copy and paste. Just a little advice on computer use and use of the programmer. Let's get into importing. File. Import. And it brings me to the FTM 500 programmer. And this AMS export, I do not want to use. That was a test I did a minute ago looking at something. In all honesty, I want to show you some of the decisions that you will be making. Always remember, you are in control. You are smarter than the computer. And so you'll have to tell the computer a few things about your data. We're going to go to Documents, and my files happen to be in CSV for import. That's where I put them. And we're going to work with this Alexander file. So the screen comes up in a reduced state, and I'm going to use my arrow keys, and I'm going to pull it out so I can see what I have here. And I'm going to leave it down here so I can see what columns I have available in the programmer for this radio. Channel number. If I leave channel number, these will land in these exact channel numbers. Keep that in mind. If you want it to do something else, you're going to define column and tell it to ignore. And now it says ignore. Receive and transmit frequency. Yep, I want those offset frequency, offset direction, operating mode. But I have an AMS up here that I'm going to try to get filled in. I have name, and notice all the names are blank. But over here in the comment, I got these really cool names I'd love to see on the face of the radio. Well, that's one of the beauties of the RT Systems Programmer. You do not have to arrange your data in the order that the programmer is expecting it. I'm going to come over here. I'm clicking Next Column. You can see the blue moving. And I'm at Name. And I'm going to ignore it because let me warn you, if you name two columns the same thing, 
the program won't be unhappy, but the last column it runs into will be what you end up with in that column, and that may not be what you want. So next, next, here's another ignore DCS. This was probably RX DCS. I've got an ignore here. This was probably RX CTCSS. This radio does not do that. This is DCS polarity. This radio does not do that. Transmit power, we're good. Well, this is scan, and it can go in the skip column. And see, the header changes. And now we've got clock shift and memory group. And I have several columns left here from wherever this came from. And I happen to know that ones are generally affirmative. One is on, zero is off. Hey, it's computers. So I'm going to go on over. I'm going to just ignore those because I don't know what they are or where they came from. But I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to set it to AMS. Let's see if we can turn them on. And next column, I'll take name for this and finish with these. My starting row is one, and I'm going to apply. And guess what? There it is. My AMSs didn't get checked, so one apparently is not affirmative for that column. Sometimes it's one and zero, sometimes it's Y and N. It's just different. So if I want these on, I click the first one, Command C, shift down arrow because it keeps you in the column so much better than trying to use your mouse. And Command V, V like Victor. The file's all set up, ready to go. If you want it as a part of that other file, I'm holding my mouse, pulling it down across those numbers. I can take some extra if I want. Command C. These are all up under the edit commands also. And I'm going to go to the bottom here. And Command V. And now they are a part of my main file. Save it up. Send it to the radio. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go out and play with those new repeaters that I just put in my radio. And meet new friends. So that's import in a nutshell. Like I said, a lot of decisions, but you can do it, I'm sure. So this is Karen. I hope this all helps. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. 73s.